Now, I have an agent named Jamie who I adore. And uh, he's so gay, I call him Gamey. Anyway, but, you know, being my age, I know you're looking at me thinking you must go on so many auditions. There's so many people like you on television. So, um... Jamie will literally call me, and every time he has an audition for me, there's a story about how difficult it was to get the audition. All right, so here's an example. Hi, Judy, it's Jamie. Listen, I have an audition for you uh, next week. It's a Coen Brothers film feature. Really excited about it. Uh, I'm going to send over the script. Now, when you get to your character's description, do not be alarmed. Um... (laughs) It says morbidly obese African American. <laughs> but I called casting, I spoke with them directly, and I said, Will you go tall white? And they're very interesting. <laughs> this is every audition. Like then, then, uh, you know, six months later, hi, Judy, it's Jamie, I got you a great audition. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? So Netflix is doing a mini series about a woman who transitions into a man and then decides she wants to transition back into a woman. Now, they were going to go male, but I called casting and I spoke with them directly and I said, Judy Gold! And they are so into the idea. This is every fucking audition. So... So he calls me up. He's like, Judy, it's Jamie. I have an audition for you. It's tomorrow. It's a voiceover. I'm like, oh my God, thank God. Because no one gives a shit what you look like when you go on a voiceover audition. I was like, oh my God, thank you. Thank God. He's like, it's tomorrow at three o'clock. So I'm going to send all the info over. Good luck. And I'm like, wait a minute. What's it for? He's like, well, it's a commercial. And if it goes, they're going to do a lot of them. It's kerching, kerching. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a lot of money. And I said, okay, well, what's the voice for it? He's, I swear to God, he's like, well, they're looking for someone to be the voice of an irritated vagina. <laughs> so I said, fuck you, I'm hanging up. He's like, no, Judy, I swear to God. It's a new pharmaceutical drug. It's some new drug. They're looking for someone to be an irritated vagina. I immediately thought of you. I was like, fuck you. But in the back of my head, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so perfect for this, right? <laughs> so... So I go on in the audition, okay? And there's all these women, you know, waiting in the waiting room my age, you know, 35, 36, and they're all sitting there. And, and I walk in. And so the guy who wrote the commercial, I'm going to say like late 50s, you know, he's sitting on the couch and um, next to him is some ad exec who wanted to, probably wants to kill herself. She probably went to Harvard Business School with mommy's daughter, wants to kill herself. And then, and then there's the guy who's doing the mic. So... Uh, I go in, and the guy who wrote it is like, he thinks it's the most brilliant idea. So he's like, Judy, thank you so much for coming in. I'm like, no problem. Uh, do you have any questions? I said, well, my agent said that the, um, you wanted the voice of the vagina just uh, to sound irritated. <laughs> great, great question, great question. Yeah, uh, what we're looking for in the voice of the vagina is an irritation. Uh, it doesn't come from uh, frustration or anger. Uh, the... Uh, the irritation is a, is a result of pain. Let me give you an example. You're, this is how he's talking, like he's fucking Francis Ford Coppola. It's a talking vagina, okay? Let me give you an example. You're at home, uh, you're under the weather, you have a conference call for work, and you sound a little irritated on the phone because you're not feeling well. That's the sort of irritation we're looking for in the tone of the vagina. I said, okay, I'm a painfully irritated vagina. Okay, got it. And then I'm thinking, what are they going to show on the screen? I mean, they can't show a real vagina talking. It's got to be like an animated thing, you know? Like that purple thing in that depression commercial that follows that woman around, you know what I'm talking about? Where the woman's like finally out of the house after three years and is having a picnic and the purple thing's there like, oh, you're still a loser. You have no friends. You're going to cry when you get home. Or that fucking bladder. I hate that goddamn bladder and that bladder commercial where the woman, like, they're camping and the woman's, like, has a fucking toasting a marshmallow and the bladder's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta... (laughs) Or the one commercial that should be animated that's not, that irritable bowel syndrome commercial (laughs) where the woman dresses up in a bodysuit with intestines on it and follows another woman around as her diarrhea, okay? (laughs) 
literally, wherever the woman goes, the diarrhea follows. She's in bed, the diarrhea, the diarrhea. You know what I'm talking about, right? Now, that's a GoFundMe I might contribute to. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to be diarrhea for the rest of my... I might throw in a 10 or a 20, you know. By the way, that woman is a very successful actress who played... I'm not kidding. I met her. She, Jewish, of course, you know. And, um, and literally, she walks down the street and people are like, um, wait, oh my God. Wait, are you diarrhea? Oh my God. Oh my God, is that diarrhea? Can I take a selfie with you, diarrhea? You know, who, you know what I'm talking about. And then she has the bright red hair. Like, who decided that diarrhea has bright red hair? The shit'll come out tomorrow. So, did you get that reference, Queen? All right, so the guy says to me, and then I'll be done because I'm getting the finger from them. Um, the guy says to me, um, so there's a woman and a man in bed. It's not going well. The woman gets out of bed, uh, goes into the restroom, re uh, opens the medicine cabinet, reaches for some lubrication, and that is when the vagina interrupts to say, hey, no, use this. And when you get to the name of the product, this is what he says, when you get to the name of the product, I want to hear that in your voice. You've resolved the issue. You're happier. Uh, you, and, and you've, I want to hear the smile. And I said, okay, fine. I'm a painfully irritated vagina, except when I talk about the product. And then I was like, do you want any accent? Because sometimes they only play in certain parts of the country. He's like, no. And then like an asshole, I say, do you want it Jewy? <laughs> and he says, yeah, yeah, I think I'd like to hear it too. <laughs> you know why? Because he's a Jew. He's a Jew who hates his overbearing Jewish mother. So he writes a commer commercial about an irritated vagina because he's transferring all his hatred from his mother onto this fucking talking vagina. Oh, what'd you have for lunch today? Can you take me to the eye doctor next week? I need to go grocery shopping. Shelton Wickowitz dropped dead in the pool. No one found him. It smelled. Call me. So he hates her. <laughs> writes this commercial. So here I am. I actually stole the... I'm going to read this to you, and then we can go. Um, this is the script. Um, I'm a... Ta Wait, what am I? A painfully irritated Jewish vagina, okay? It's <laughs> exactly how I did it, too. And I started looking up, because I was like, oh, the vagina's... All right, ready? All right. Hello? <laughs> it's me down here. Yes, it's your vajayjay talking. What pharmaceutical company uses the term VJJ in their market? <laughs> Listen, I'm in no mood for this. I'm in pain. Put that lube away. <laughs> you need to get Astera. <laughs> Astera will rebuild the lining so that I won't be in pain. I swear to God, this is the next line. Only a straight guy would write this. Ready? Order it now and we'll be back in business in 12 weeks. <laughs> so now I'm a painfully irritated vagina of a Jewish prostitute. Okay, great. Okay, this is the last line where you're supposed to say, oh my God, what a great commercial. I can't wait to discuss it with my friend. All right, ready? Just think how you'll feel the next time you're laying in bed with your husband and he whispers in your ear, have you renewed your prescription yet? <laughs> Renew no, I haven't. And I'm never fucking renewing it again, asshole, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you something. The fact that this shit gets made, and they are closing Planned Parenthoods, and they're closing women's health clinics, and they're telling women uh, what they can and can't do with their body. God doesn't want you to do this. God doesn't want a woman to do that. You know what? Maybe God doesn't want a 68-year-old guy balding with a ponytail driving a Corvette convertible to have another heart on. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> Maybe it's God's way. Maybe it's God's way of saying, you know what? You had your fun. It was great while it lasted. It's over. It's the woman's term. Go take a playwriting class. Learn how to crochet. You, you, get a boat. You're done. And let me tell you something. There would be no painfully irritated vaginas if it weren't for their goddamn four-hour erections, okay? <laughs> All right, good night, everybody.